Marvelous May is finally here and thank heavens because April was something else. <laughs> April was so full of emotional intensity and technical issues and all the things and now you are clearing the space for something new and wonderful to grow in your life. Hello, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your May forecast. And this is such a different energy. We got through that very intense Aries eclipse season, Mercury retrograde, and what that did was bring you right deep into your unconscious and having you really understand what you didn't want in your life anymore and what was right for you and there was a lot and so now your cup is empty to be filled again so we are in taurus season for the majority of the month the sun is in taurus and other planets are in taurus too jupiter until the 25th uranus venus is in her home domicile here she loves being in taurus this is her earthly realm venus rules taurus and so with venus right here at home in this sign of beauty and earthly delights you can feel at home in your own body you can feel love for the present moment especially in these times when we have so much upheaval and so much turmoil it really helps you appreciate what you have, who you are, everything in your life that is working, <laughs> and the people around you and the people that you love and who love you. So that's part of Venus's magic in Taurus. It really helps you embody beauty and love. And with our sun here as well, and Jupiter finishing up its sign in Taurus. It's really a time to appreciate all that you have, enjoy life's sensual pleasures, enjoy simple things. You've been through something. <laughs> You've been through quite a bit during the past two to three months especially, but April really got you really understanding what wasn't work because those eclipses, especially in the realm of relationships, they really pulled up areas where you need to put yourself first, where you have been overgiving, where you haven't been attuned to your needs. And so this is what this month is about. After this like explosion of Aries, because Aries is cardinal fire. It's all about bringing new life. And instead of like a seed pushing through the earth, this was more like a big bang, <laughs> like total chaos in a way as well. And so Taurus comes after Aries to ground the energy. Taurus is fixed earth. It's really the most slow and sensual sign of the zodiac. It's here to stabilize your life. And in numerology, May 2024 is a four universal month. And four is also about the earth and all of the material things of having a physical body, including money, your home, real estate, family. It's really a number of structure. And since we're in this earth sign of Taurus, Everything in your material world is about to be re-examined. So Taurus teaches you about your values and who and what you love and your self-worth. So during this season, you may be reevaluating what's really important to you, what you really need to feel secure not just physically but emotionally and what's really not worth your time money or effort anymore who really nourishes you what really nourishes you so this is a time of the heart this is a time of re-evaluating your worth your inner beauty what makes you feel delightful simply by being this is not a time to rush or 
or move forward with plans that no longer feel good to you. This is about enjoying the people, places, and experiences that help you feel great inside, that help you love yourself and your life. It's about nourishing. That's why Taurus is associated with food and the bounty of the earth. This is a time to nourish yourself, to really delight in your spiritual garden. This month is actually a 13-4 because that's what May 2024 adds up to 13 and then reduces to four. And 13 is actually about weeding things. So you need to keep weeding out what no longer is a value to you, no, what no longer nourishes you so that you can invest in the things that make you feel delightful. So you're still reevaluating things after the turbulence of last month, but it's a time to really dig in and stabilize and ground yourself. It's very physical as well because of all this earth. So do things that help you embody a sense of joy and love and beauty and embody your energy and your emotions. And when you're doing things, really experience them. Don't think about how you're going to post it on Instagram or, or looking forward in the future while you're in the middle of something or dwelling on the past. This is really a time to be present. We have a delightful, amazing, wonderful transition this month when Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion and optimism, changes signs. Jupiter blesses a sign once a year. It takes a year to move through each sign and Jupiter will be finishing up its time in Taurus and moving into Gemini on the 25th. So yes, Gemini gets blessed with this beautiful abundant planet this month, but we all do because we all have Gemini in our chart somewhere. And every time Jupiter is in a sign, all of us experience that energy more abundantly and expansively. So Jupiter and Gemini will be very chatty <laughs> because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. It's all about communication and socializing. It's like the honeybee of the Zodiac. And so you may want to try new experiences, new ideas, take courses and travel. Gemini is actually about local travel. So maybe instead of like big, gigantic, trips on your bucket list, you explore your neighborhoods and, and discover new things. Of course, Jupiter is about international things. So it is about reaching and communicating and sharing ideas with people around the world. So we're all going to be blessed with this expansiveness. It's dual nature too. So there can be more division, more like um, misinformation and like duplicity. This is not a shock to anyone, hopefully, because with Pluto in Aquarius and AI, there are some tricky things that happen with this. So we all have to be very aware of the information that comes into our awareness and you have to be very discerning. And that's really where we all need to be now. However, Jupiter in Gemini for this next year is going to bring so much wisdom and you can really see both sides of something because we have so much division and of course it can bring expansion to that division. But with Pluto and Aquarius, which is all about like people and groups and societies, also in air signs, trining Jupiter and Gemini, we can maybe build bridges and talk to each other where we can see other people's perspective. We can communicate in a more bridge building way. And that's my wish, my intention for Jupiter and Gemini. And it is very possible. So be mindful of your words. Be mindful of how you're expressing yourself. 
Are you using your words to uplift and inspire others? Or are you using them to create more division or tear yourself apart? Really, with this Venus and Taurus, and Venus is what attracts love and money and all good things into your life. And with Taurus being about your self-worth, how you speak to yourself will help attract good or maybe not good things into your life. So you want to speak to yourself in a loving way. You want to speak to yourself and others with compassion and love. So remember that today and every day, but especially throughout the month. So I have three action steps to really help you make the most of this beautiful energy. Your first action step is to enjoy time in nature. You really need to slow down. You're probably still reeling from the dizziness and the so much of everything all at once-ness that we just experienced. So it's really important you get back in your body and get back in touch with the earth. And when you're enjoying time in nature, really feel your feet on the ground. Really feel yourself connect with the earth. And instead of being on your phone or thinking about all the bazillion things that you need to do, really listen to the birds. Really feel the sun or the breeze or whatever is going on in nature. Feel it on your skin. Take in the aromas of the foliage around you. Really be in it. And that will totally reset your nervous system. If you need help with this, I have a free grounding meditation that you can use. You can access that using the link below. It's absolutely free, so you can get that in the comments. You can get that free grounding meditation to really help you get back in your body. And do this all the time. As you're going through the day and you find yourself thinking, 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 bring it back. Bring it back into your body. Bring it back to connecting to nature and the beauty around you. And there is always so much beauty within and around you. And your second action step is to square your corners. In this four universal month, which is all about the material world and what you're doing in your body in life, it's really important that you're looking at where you're leaking energy, where you're leaking money, where you're leaking time. It's helpful to look at your finances. For those of you who are looking in investing in property or investing in any way, this is a really good time because this is about grounding and structures and, and the physical structures of your life. So look at your money and where you want to put it and how you can utilize it for your highest good. See where you're leaking it in ways that are you really spending things in ways that are no longer helpful to you? Are you really investing your money and your time and your resources in ways that are um, supporting you? So this is about building and nourishing structures that support you. And also emotionally, your time and your energy. Are you spending it wisely? Are you investing it wisely? Really look at all of this and square your corners. This isn't about creating like barriers around yourself. This is about making sure that the structures and foundations in your life are where they need to be. Which brings us to our third action step, which is to invest in yourself. You are the greatest investment in the world. And especially as empaths, it's really a tendency to give your time and your money and your resources and your energy to everybody else. Because everybody else, maybe you think, is more important or needs it more. You are the greatest investment in the world. Invest in your well-being. Invest in your happiness. Make yourself the priority of where you nourish, where you 
Invest time, money, energy, and love. Pour it into you. This is how your spiritual garden grows. You are an incredible investment. So think about it as you are making your decisions throughout the day. Bring your energy back into you. Okay? Now, this is something we're going to cover in this month's Soul Salon, which is Soulful Money Mastery. This isn't just about money that we're going to be examining. It's about your self-worth. It's about your allowing yourself to receive support and nourishment and feeling worthy of that. So we're going to go deep into the roots of your money tree and there's a lot going on underneath there. So this is all about receiving love and money and all the blessings the universe has to offer. So if you want to join me for this month's Soul Salon, Soulful Money Mastery, you can do that as well using the link below. I'll leave it in the description here and you can sign up to join me. And it's going to be a beautiful experience. I'm so excited to share it with you. I am wishing you the most beautiful, nourishing, loving month. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you are signed up and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to be notified when I come out with another video. And feel free to leave a comment below and share it with your loved ones. I love you so much and I wish you a marvelous May and beyond. Lots of love. Bye for now.